I'm Steph, aka Literati Medium. And today I'm going to start another reading vlog. I'm just about to sit down for my daily morning read and I'm going to try and finish A Flicker in the Dark. I only have about 19 pages left in this. I tried to finish it last night, but my eyes just would not stay open. And then once I finish this, I'm going to move on to The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. Um, wish me luck. This isn't going to be like my last vlog where I read for 24 hours straight aside from sleeping. I'm just going to try and chronicle as much as I can and let you know my thoughts along the way. So in a sense this will be a lot more like my first vlog. If you haven't seen either of those vlogs you can check them out in this playlist here. Okay, so I just finished A Flicker in the Dark and wow, it was really good. I did figure out who the killer was pretty early on, but the book does a really good job at misdirecting you to the point where I felt a lot like the main character where I was second guessing myself all the time. And then when things finally get revealed, you're like, okay, I'm not crazy. Yay! This should have come out by the time that I post this video, so give it a read. It's really interesting and really good. Good morning! It's Sunday morning and I just finished my morning reading. I decided that I was going to read a little bit more in Project Hail Mary because I haven't touched it in a little while and I'm sure that's probably driving my friend crazy. So I'm about 75% of the way through Project Hail Mary and it's amazing. Like, it's just so good. Good morning. So it's Monday morning and I'm already in the crazy Monday morning grind at work, but things are going really well. I really just stopped in to say I was up way too late last night finishing Project Hail Mary because once I started reading it again, I couldn't put it down. So I finished it. If you have not read Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir, you need to go do it now. It's so wonderful. I can't even really talk about it without spoiling things for you. But all I'll say is like I really enjoyed the take it took on the situation that the book was presenting and it was just wonderful. That was my work ping so I have to go back to work and I will talk to you later. Thursday morning. Um, you'll notice I have a little bit of a break in my vlog. I got pretty sick on Tuesday and Wednesday. Not the sickness, just like a stomach bug. But I have officially started The Wheel of Time, The Eye of the World. I'm only about 30 pages in so far, but I really like it. So far, as far as this compared to the show, I do kind of like this opening prologue where it shows, you know, the five as kids. I think that's a lot of fun and that it has a nice parallel to Egwene getting her braid in the first episode. So we'll see what happens, but so far I'm really liking it. Happy Friday! You'll notice I don't have a fun transition between my last check-in and this check-in. I was going to film some stuff while I was in the office today and uh, just forgot. No good excuse, just 
forgot. Um, anyways, I'm about 70 pages into The Wheel of Time, and the only reason I'm that far is because Steph from Steph's Bookish World hosted some reading sprints yesterday, so I was able to get a fair amount of reading done. They are chunky, chunky pages, like two or three times the size of a normal page. I'm calling it a win that I've gotten this far this week. Good morning. I'm just checking in to wrap up this vlog. It's Saturday morning. I'm about 80 pages into The Eye of the World. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's a little slow to start, but things are starting to pick up a little bit. If you are interested in reading Project Hail Mary or A Flicker in the Dark, I do have the affiliate links down in the description box below. If you've read any of these books, also go ahead and tell me in the comments what you thought. And of course, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's see what stories tomorrow brings. Mm -hmm.